Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and today I am at my good friend Carlos's house here in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, Carlos has a channel called uh, Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. I'm also joined by my good friends Manny and Imitsu. Their channels are Cascade Scents and Simply Put Scents respectively. I am going mm -hmm. to leave a link to all of these gentlemen's channel down below. So if you like their opinions and you feel like you vibe and resonate with them, definitely make sure to check them out. Today, we're gonna to be taking a closer look at a fragrance by a company called The Sum, and the fragrance is called Mauve, like the color. Now, this fragrance was released in 2016. The perfumer for this one, you guys can try it out if you'd like. The perfumer for that is Josh Meyer. Uh, Josh Meyer, of course, has his own company called Imaginary Authors. He's also done a fragrance for Anthropology. He's done all of the fragrances for this brand. They have four in total now. And he's also done a fragrance for Dasein. Now, uh, with this company, they started out as a jewelry company and they wanted to branch out into fragrances. And uh, this is a pretty simple scent. It comes in one size, 30 milliliters, eau de parfum concentration. Uh, the bottle itself actually has a sterling silver bead inside of it. And they only have three notes in the fragrance. It is lavender, oak, and tea leaves. So, um, what do you guys think about it? Uh, I'm smelling vetiver for some reason. Uh-huh. It's fresh in a very, very interesting way. Yeah. It seems uh, pretty simple, but fresh. Absolutely, definitely fresh. Why am I getting vetiver? Is he that? I'll uh, see if you're tripping or not. I could be. I don't think you are. You know, I would, I would sort of agree with you on that. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. But it does actually remind me of another scent that contains a note that is said to smell like vetiver. Okay. Mm. Definitely the lavender. And for mm -hmm. the most part, that's all I'm getting right now. You said there's an oak dry down or oak note? Yeah. Yeah, not yet, but um, not yet. definitely uh, lavender. Uh, super fresh, <coughs> definitely masculine. For Very sure. simple, but yeah. it's, there's, yeah, like there's something interesting to it despite three notes. I like the tea in this though. I think that's really adding. Let me spray it on my hand, maybe. Yeah, no, of course. Oh, really. you know what? That might make sense because tea could come off earthy like that that's what it is i believe yeah if you're getting better that might be it yeah i have to say i was not aware that josh meyer was behind this yeah it's not so bad of worry on my skin at all <laughs> yeah okay. what i like about the scent is that to me to my nose i get a lot of isoe super now, it's not listed as a note, but it does remind me of fragrances like Molecula One and other fragrances like, I think, White Musk by The Body Shop, which has a lot of ISOE Super in the base. Um, I think that's also the reason why I actually get a lot of compliments wearing this scent. And it seems like people do tend to get kind of close to you because it has that sort of woodsy, vetiver -y smell to it. Mm. And um, I also have to echo what Manny said. I think it's a very simple scent. So if you're looking for something very dense and complex and packed in, that's not what you're gonna, mm -hmm. gonna get here. It's a very sort of deconstructed scent. And uh, it was actually their take at a barbershop scent. Mm. Wow. Lavender, makes sense. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> now, Carlos, I know you're, you're not a fan of lavender. I'm not, and I'm not really getting lavender. I'm, like, I'm not, my okay. nose is not. Yeah. I think you're getting the ISOE <clears throat> Super, possibly. Mm. Cause like. It's woody. I, it, I don't smell lavender. Yeah. Don't smell lavender. I yeah. Mean, typically, I, I, you know, I, it's, as you said, it's not my favorite note, and uh, I can pretty much pin it out. Maybe we've been smelling a lot of stuff today, so anything's possible. Yeah, we really possible. have. <laughs> it doesn't smell like that air freshener type of a scent that right. a lot of people associate lavender with. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, you were going to say something, Manny. Yeah. Um, ISOE Super is t sometimes like advertised, not advertised, but you'll know percentage wise what's in various fragrances like mm -hmm. for example i believe like hermes terra hermes has like 55 percent isoe super and then 100 percent in molecule one like this has to be at least 50 percent yeah for me because like i'm getting it now once i get past the, the <coughs> excuse me once i get past the lavender this is that kind of aquatic wood if that makes any sense yeah it's definitely wearable um it's yeah. definitely it definitely has a fresh touch and woodsy it smells nice. Yeah. I'd wear this. I think so. So I personally really, really like this scent. Um, if you are interested in checking out how 
These fragrances with their uh, colors correspond to smells. I highly recommend you check out the other ones. They have one called red, one called white, one called black. And surprisingly, they all do a really good job at evoking that type of color, call it synesthesia, call it what you will. Mm. But it's a really, really cool brand. Um, it's pretty affordable. It is only a 30 ml bottle, but it's very sleek. Uh, the sprayer works very well and the scent itself is very, very good. So gentlemen, thank you very much for sharing your opinion on a camera. Carlos, sure. thank you for the delicious garlic bread, the pasta and the hospital. My pleasure, my pleasure. And uh, guys, also, please don't forget to check these gentlemen out. I'm going to leave their information down below. Also, please don't forget to comment, rate, and also subscribe for future videos, top tens, giveaways, unboxings, and a lot of other fragrance-related content. So remember, we smell well, so you can smell good. And we'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Peace.